Hi everybody and welcome to Cap at Home Live and welcome to our first episode of After School Cap at Home. So starting this week, starting today, we are switching to our after school schedule. So we will be having programs Monday through Thursday at 4 p.m. So I'm going to kick it off today with a nice fun project. So today on Cap at Home, we are going to be making um, Romero Brito dog drawings. So these are really cool, really fun. So Romero Brito is a pop artist and so we're going to be making these really fun, really colorful dog drawings. So I'm going to set up my drawing board and we can get started. All right. Now let me get this set up. All right, so here is our lovely fun dog. And so like I said, he, Romero Brito is a really cool pop artist. So he does a lot of drawings of animals and different things um, and very colorful, fun shapes and designs. So we are going to be using our knowledge of pattern um, shape and color to be creating these really awesome dog drawings. So what we're going to need today is a blank piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, and then some colored pencils, crayons, or markers. So I have a bunch over here which I can use and um, we will get drawing here in a second. So we're going to follow a um, sort of a uh, follow along type drawing to create something like this. So I'm going to set this aside. So this is my good inspiration. I've also posted the link to his website in the comments of this video, which is definitely worth checking out to see the kind of work that he does and get inspiration from him. But for this, we want to thank bright colors, fun patterns and designs. So I'm going to set this aside. And what we're going to want to do is take our pencil and we're going to want to start drawing our dog. Now I'm going to draw in a black marker so it's easier for you to see. But the first thing that we want to do is start drawing the head. So I like to start near the top of the page. And again, I'm using a black marker so you can see it. I always start with pencil first and then you can erase your pencil marks. But to start with our head, I'm going to kind of make a... Uh, sort of rectangle shape and before I connect the bottom this is what I would I would want to leave that open or if you're drawing with pencil um, you can go ahead and draw that in but basically what we're gonna do is add these two large circle shapes and this is the dog mouth so I'm gonna actually connect those and so that is our mouth. And again, it's definitely easier to start in pencil so you can make mistakes. So this is the base of our head. So what I want to do is draw some eyes. There's an eye here. And an eye here, and I might actually make this one have a big eye patch. And then I want to add a nose, which is sort of like drawing, um, sort of like an oval, but the bottom part has like, like these three humps. And so that kind of creates our dog nose and of course our tongue in between our two circles. And then I always add sort of like these circles on our, um, on our dog mouth. Like these are the big round cheeks that dogs have so cute. I think this this drawing kind of looks more like a puppy, but either way. All right, and then we want to add some ears. So I start at the top corner and I'm going to make sort of like a rounded triangle shape on both sides. And they don't have to be the same shape and they don't have to look like this shape. It can be what you want. This is just the type of ear that I draw. And then I connect the rest of the head there. And so that's the top of my dog. That's like my dog head. So then what I want to do is actually um, 
take the rest of my drawing and so what I want to do is make like sort of on both sides of my mouth I want to make like a big triangle shape kind of like that and this is going to be like the main body of our animal so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to go almost all the way down to the bottom so see I'm stopping right before the end of the page and then I'm going to add a triangle in the middle here, like this. And so this created my two front legs of my dog. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these. Right, so I'm going to connect those. So that's the um, two front legs of my dog. And so this is like, if you've ever seen a dog sit like this, then you see like the sort of the rest of their body is kind of right here. That's why we connect our line here. In the two front legs, then we have to add some uh, feet or um, a little toes. So I just do that by simply adding these shapes, like these sort of like circle, um, sort of like nuggets or uh, little circles there. Now we need some back legs here. So what I like to do is sort of like a raindrop shape. So it's sort of going to create this sort of funky shape. So on both sides, we're going to add this sort of shape. So we want to add the back leg and our feet. Sort of like that. And that's okay if they're not exactly the same size. But that's basically it. And then we also add this little line up here. And this is just the rest of the body from the dog that's up here. That's what those lines are. So this is pretty much the basis shape of your dog. And so now if we see in my image, I have some other details here. So I have, um, I added some pupils to the eyes. I added a dog collar. And you can add things like that. Uh, you could add eyelashes to your dog, um, anything like that. So if you wanted to add eyelashes, I always like adding a collar just like this. Add a cool dog tag like that. All right, so we have the base of our dog. So now what we want to do, I'm going to take our picture again. And so something that um, Romero Brito is some, uh, really known for is breaking up his shape or animal into smaller shapes. So see how we have our head, but there's a line down the middle. So it broke it up. Or see how we have this body and the legs are broke up into a couple different shapes. So that's dividing where our patterns and colors are. So that's what we're going to do. So I would try and divide up your animal as much as possible. So let's say I'm going to divide the face like that. And I'm going to divide the legs up like this. And let's add another triangle here. And then maybe we'll add another line like that. And so we can do something like that. So we're sort of dividing up the shapes. Um, you could add some stripes to your collar if you wanted. And you can even put the name of your dog on the collar if you want. Totally up to you. And then, once you figure out how you want your whole animal split, your design split, then you can figure out where you want each pattern. So remember, patterns are something that we want on, um, we're, they're like shapes or designs that we're repeating um, and constantly drawing. So like here, we have like lots of circles or polka dots, we have stripes, we have big circles, we have zigzags, we have a couple hearts. So these are all really good examples of patterns and um, designs. So that's what we really want to do. Um, and if you're at this point now, I was using a black marker so you guys were able to see what I was drawing really easily. Once you get to this point and you did it in pencil, then you would want to take your eraser and erase all your pencil lines before adding any other color. So once we get to this point, then we can start adding our shapes and designs. So we can add, and each one looks really cool if you add different shapes and colors and designs to each side. So that's why we kind of break it up into different shapes. So let's say we wanted some polka dots here. You could do some big ones or some small ones. And 
And then let's say this side, we're going to add some stripes. Okay, and then over here you could add something and something on this side too if you wanted, or you could just add like a couple really big circles. So then it would be different than this side. So that's kind of cool to add that up. Um, and then we can go down to the body and add some different shapes and designs too. So let's say you wanted this whole middle part to be hearts. So again, I'm filling up the whole space. Okay. And you can make some big, some small. And I'm doing this with black marker, and then I'm going to go ahead and color it in. So let's say we have one that's kind of this repeating line triangle pattern. We could do something like that. We could leave one blank. Um, we could do we could do some zigzags or triangles. You could do stars. Really get creative with the types of patterns that you want to use. You could even do like a mini drawing in one of the sections. All right, so we could do like that, and then let's say over here, um, what's another thing that we could do? We could do, we could do stripes. Let's say his, he's got some, maybe his feet have these sort of rectangle shape patterns on it. And remember, you want them to be different on every shape because then it makes it really interesting to color in, and then it's going to be just really cool looking. So I'm just adding some shapes here. Some things that I like, think might look cool. All right, so when you get to the point where you feel like you filled it in really good and you think you're like, okay, this is going to be really awesome to color, then you can go ahead and pick your colors and start coloring in each shape. So I'll just kind of start doing that just to give you an idea, but I will let you guys spend some time and do that on your own. But you want to make sure you're coloring in each shape really good. And so I have some markers here, but also feel free to use colored pencils, crayons, um, anything that you have available to you. If you have paint, you could always do this with paint as well. And really spend some time make this like just really cool looking. And then once you finish coloring... Or, if you wanted to do this before you started coloring, um, you could even add a background. So he often, um, Romero Brito, often fills his whole page with the same thing. So let's say you wanted to say our puppy or our dog is in the grass or like and maybe there's a tree behind there. You could draw your background and then do the same thing. Divide up your space into chunks and then um, add some patterns and colors and really fill it in that way. So you could do that. So you really want to take your time and fill this in. So I won't bore you and make me watch uh, coloring it in, even though it is really fun to take your time and really do this well. Um, so just to review your steps, first thing you want to do is look at um, Romero Brito's uh, website. You want to look at the work that he does to get inspired. Then you want to get your materials, so get your paper, your pencil, your eraser, your markers, crayons, or pe colored pencils. And then you want to start drawing your dog. So again, you can follow my steps, and I have always have the written instructions in the video. So I always start with the head and work down. Draw in pencil first, then erase your pencil marks. After you've outlined everything in black, 
then you can draw a background or you don't have to. Another option that you could do is um, you could do this and then cut your dog out and then glue it on another piece of paper or on a different background, which could be really cool too. So after you've done totally coloring and filled it in, then you get to show off your really awesome Romero Brito um, drawing. And it's really cool, too, because not only are we practicing our ideas of pattern, uh, color, and design, but we're also think learning about a new artist. So I hope you enjoyed this Cap at Home video today. And again, thank you for joining me on our first Cap at Home Fall Edition episode and our new after-school hours. So join us again tomorrow at 4 p.m., for another art tutorial episode that is going to focus um, really on ages 9 to 13. So I look forward to seeing you guys again, hopefully next week. Remember to tune in and join us um, Monday through Thursday for our Cap at Home videos. And also know that if you are looking for more Cap at Home videos, all of our summer Cap at Home art tutorials are on our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube pages, so feel free to check those out. And if you get to the point where um, you finish your drawing, name your dog, and then go ahead and post a picture of it. I'd love to see what you did um, and what you were working on today while I was working on mine. So feel free to share your drawing with me. I'd love to see it. Um, name your dog and uh, have fun. Thanks so much for joining me today on Cap at Home. Again, my name's Miss Allie, and I will see you again next time.